down, has bowed down. Every demon has bowed down in the name of Jesus, amen. Every bondage has bowed down in the name of Jesus. Every curse and every witchcraft has bowed down in the name of Jesus. And every bias in the name of Jesus has bowed down, amen. Hallelujah. We're just going to ask our brother Christ to pray for the Father and Son of the Spirit. Heavenly Father, we just come before your throne of love grace tonight, Father. We just welcome you, Holy Spirit. We ask you, God, as you come in at this Father, just fill this place, fill this atmosphere with your worship, with your presence tonight, Father. Come, Holy Spirit, and you take control, Father. We remove everything that is not of you tonight, oh God. And we ask the Lord that your presence will just invade the earth. Invade the earth tonight, oh God. We ask that your glory cloud will come and descend, oh God. Father is waiting upon you for that miracle, for that sign, for that wonder tonight, Father. We know, Lord, that you are the God that is able to do it. You're the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore tonight, oh God. We worship you, Paragonus. We worship you, Adonai. We give you the highest praises tonight, Father. We break every chain tonight. We break every shackle tonight. We come against every territorial spirit tonight, Father. We bring down every assignment of the enemy tonight, Father. Every spirit of depression and oppression has to Father, we know that you are the healer divine, that your word declares that healing is your children's bread tonight, Father. So as your children are trusting you in their homes, whether they're in hospitals tonight, Father, we know that your hands are not too short to reach out and touch them tonight, Father. We come against the spirit of the virus of COVID-19 tonight, Father, and we stand upon your word and we declare that you are the healer divine, that by your blood tonight, Father, we are covered and protected and washed and cleansed and made everywhere whole tonight, Father. Even as your son comes tonight, Father, we ask, oh God, that you anoint him afresh, Father. Use him, oh God, like never before tonight, oh God. We thank you, Lord, even for this ministry, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you are taking us into a newer dimension of your favor tonight, oh Lord. And we just worship you, God. We just give you the highest praises, Father, for it's all about you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that no flesh will glory in your presence, oh God. That you alone will be magnified. You alone, oh God, will be glorified tonight.
sing that song where they used to laugh. Rest of 
synagogues are open, when cinemas are open, uh, when every other kind of, of, of entertainment centers are open, uh, but yet we find ourselves the church uh, being locked down. Uh, I have news for you today. Uh, upon this rock uh, will I build my church, uh, and the gates of hell uh, they're going to prevail against it. Uh, tonight, can I ask you uh, to begin to worship God with me? Uh, because you know why? The gates of hell has no power to prevail against uh, what Jesus Christ has established. Uh, tonight, He's established His church. Uh, the church uh, shall never be powerless. Uh, the church shall never be defeated. Uh, the church shall never go uh, without having uh, God's protection uh, upon her. <coughs> tonight, as we come before God, uh, we say to the devil, You're a liar. Come on, are you with me tonight? Shabrakatosh. Jesus, upon this rock when I build my church. Say that with me. Upon this rock when I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Come on, say it. Come on, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it.
there are people that are, are stricken by spirits of infirmity. Infirmity means sickness. And I know tonight that there's a lot of fear that's going around about this pandemic. But tonight, uh, I want this praise and worship team to support and help me tonight. Tonight we believe, we believe that tonight we know in family now. Come on, if somebody's sick tonight, this is the hour of power. If somebody tonight, uh, come on, is stricken by some kind of sickness, uh, feeds some kind of disease, uh, you need a creative miracle, uh, beat something tonight that stands against you. Uh, I believe, I believe, I believe. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, Say it with me tonight, church. I believe.
this God. I believe tonight that every one of us that are in this auditorium, and there's not many of us tonight, but if I were to combine our beliefs, if I were to take all of our belief, and every one of us here believes in the supernatural, every one of us believes that God can't do anything, anytime, anywhere. Every one of us believes that nothing is impossible with this God. Every one of us believes that miracles can happen. And if I were to combine our faith levels tonight, it's more than enough to see supernatural power be released. So tonight, as we stand here today, we thank you today. Come on, maybe you're depressed. Maybe COVID has brought some kind of depression into you. Business may not have worked out. You may have lost your job. Is somebody listening to me? Finances may be hard. Doctors have taken up your money. Come on, am I talking to somebody tonight? I believe. You believe that God can do it. You believe that God can do it. Hallelujah.
before the end of this week and this week ends on Sunday there's going to be miracles there's going to be miracles there's going to be miracles in other words God has to provide God has to come through God says he owns the cattle on the thousand hills God says he is Jehovah Jireh your provider come on now take that word that I'm giving to you and let it resonate into your hearts and into your spirits come on we believe in God tonight
And I, I believe that all of these things are going to happen. Come on. You know why I believe this? Because I know my God will not let uh, the righteous beg for bread. Ah, come on, play that, play that, play that, play that. I love that tonight. This is a song that I can declare God's goodness. Uh, come on, would you just give us a few moments tonight? Uh, uh, no, let's not rush the service, uh, all right? Because there's something happening here tonight. Take it away. Oh, my Lord.
Once we have the, the aspect of provision, Mother Manozi writes a beautiful song. He is already provided. Everything that you need, everything that you want, He knows it and He's already provided. Can I say to you tonight, if you give me just a minute to declare something over you tonight? Come on. Can we do that quickly? I want you to stretch forth your hand and believe with me tonight. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying what God's doing here tonight because I believe that, that there's an overflow in the service. You were not tuned in. You've not tuned in by chance tonight because God wants you to have your breakthrough back. Father, we thank you tonight for divine provision. We thank you when your son, oh uh, God, Elijah, oh God, was hungry. You caused a scavenger, a raven, uh, even to feed him. Uh. Tonight, Lord, I pray uh, that you will come through for your children. Uh. Oh, you will come through. Uh. Lord, I thank you that debts are paid off. Uh. I thank you tonight, Lord, that cupboards uh, are running over deep freezers are being filled again. Uh. I thank you, Father, that there will be the press down, uh, shaken together, running over mentality, uh, that your people will know uh, that their God is never earlier, uh, he's never later, but he's always on time. Uh. So, Lord, I honor you tonight. Come on, uh, come on, come on, believe with me tonight. Draw from you tonight. Uh. Take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. Hallelujah. 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 Satisfy my heart. But I want you to know tonight that no devil can attack you. 
Can I ask you also that as we get into March, we believe in God for the church to open again. Last year in March, President Cyril Ramaphosa locked down everything. But this year, we believe in God to do something supernatural that the church of Jesus Christ is going to open. I know that many of you have reservations, but I want to say to you, we're going to do it, all right? So get serious with God. Follow our services, share these services. These are highly powerful and impactful services. And I want you to do that. All right now, on a lighter note tonight, we're glad to announce the um, metric results and um, we want to wish all our metricians well. Um, I, I'm so excited. You know, every year when we do this, we, 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 we see the hand of God upon our children. But last year was a very difficult year. And it was a year when our children literally were locked in. And I really think our metricians have done well. We have a 100% pass rate in this church. And to all of you, all right, um, I know Andrea was giving me the names to Malda, Trombone, um, Colleen, 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 and Natalia, all right, and Natalia, all right, those are the ones that we don't mind, please. I want to say to you tonight, congratulations, I'm proud of you, and I know that God is going to bless you, and it just sets up a higher platform, a higher level for the class of 2021, all right? But before we close tonight, I just want to say to you, I just want to say to you tonight, we love you, and also a happy birthday to Ravin Hatdial's twins. All right, celebrating their birthday today, both the boys. We want to wish you well tonight. And also, Ravin celebrated his wedding anniversary on Sunday. So, a happy belated wedding anniversary to you, my good brother. I know you're watching, and may the Lord bless you tonight uh, and your family. And if anybody else celebrated an auspicious occasion that we don't know about it, we want to take this opportunity to wish you well. Sunday, I can't wait for Sunday. I believe that something super, supernatural is going to happen. The favor of God is shining brightly. And that's what we're going to be talking about on Sunday, the favor of God. And I know that you're going to be blessed. But all good things come to an end. I'm praying for you. I covered your prayers. And I know that we're going to do some powerful things together. From me to you tonight, receive the benediction. It's going to be goodbye. Now receive the benediction. And now what to him was able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before the only wise God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellowship of the blessed and sweet Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with each one of us. Now and forevermore. Until we meet Jesus face to face in the clouds of glory. And everybody would say together. Amen. Don't disconnect yet this praise and worship team. He's going to bring this meeting to a glorious end. Good night. God bless you. We'll see you on Sunday morning.